Hey there everybody, this is Mr. Provines again. Um, this is a follow-up to my last video where I showed a practical water trap. Uh, in this one I'm going to be showing it with a room, with a delayer, and with a door put into play. Um, I was a little bit lazy with the design of the building, I'm terribly sorry. Don't tell me that like, oh, the wire's not hidden or the room is terrible, I'm aware. But this is simply, again, another proof of concept. Um, the door would usually be iron, but again, laziness strikes me. So, what is going to happen is when I hit a switch, it's going to open the door temporarily, and it's going to send a separate signal over to these, and this is going to cause a delay, and what's going to happen, the water is going to update, run back over the redstone wire. When the water runs over the redstone wire, what's going to happen is, um, this is for an iron door, the wire connecting to the door, which I looped all the way around, it would normally be hidden, obviously, uh, will be cut. And so if you want to put a clock in, you can make it so the door automatically closes, or you can just simply have it so that the door becomes no longer functional. Or you could also have it so that um, you could set up an inverter so that the door, even if a power source is applied, the door would not open. Um, so basically what's going to happen is when I hit this button, it's going to flood the room a second afterwards and then trap me inside. Um, so I guess here we go. Uh, just going to close the door for practical purposes. And if you look now, the room is flooded with water. I'm sorry I didn't capture that. But as you can see, me simply opening that door initially causes whole room to be flooded with water. Should I have chosen, I could have placed this source block up much higher in a much larger room, causing the room to quite literally be underwater. Um, I could also use a lava block for that. Um, but pretty much it's a simple trap to m basically make rooms that are sealed and then will kill your kill whoever's inside your base if you use obsidian. There's really no way they're going to practically get out. Um, you can, even if you're being incredibly spiteful, you can even have it so that once you trigger the door, it triggers a separate water update, which causes blocks to fall in front of the door or behind the door, effectively double sealing you in. You, you can really do just about anything with this. You can use this as a light detector, as a darkness detector if someone's trying to come through the sides of your base. Um, you can use this as a water detector, as a fire detector. You can use it as a fire detector to then put out fires. Um, if someone sets fire to your base, you can have this trigger and release water in your base, essentially putting said fire out. You can use a suffocation trap, a collapsation trap. Really, the possibilities are endless. Um, it's really your imagination and just about how spiteful you really want to be. But that's about it. Um, I can make a follow-up for how to design a water update system that properly works, um, and then how to have a collapse that will flood the rest of your room. The rest of this very basic redstone wiring. One note is, though, unfortunately, after each use, it does require a manual reset. And the manual reset, depending on how big you made the trap, can take anywhere from about 15 seconds to 2 minutes to do. But it is very, very resource effective. Um, it does not use much, um, and you can build it anywhere, and it's very easy to hide. You just build extra walls around it, honestly, or below ground. Um, it does not take up very much space. Uh, despite the poor design, or well, despite the obviously poor structure, uh, you can see that it is quite effective as a concept design. Um, yeah, so thank you everyone for watching. Um, any questions, feel free to ask. I'd be more than happy to upload some simple boosters, other cool traps, really just uh, things that people draw interest in. I'll be more than happy to make full-length tutorials on very clean, neat, step-by-step, -step resource count, everything you need. But um, in the meantime, thank you for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. Have a great day.